right, let's get to check out our forecast now. And uh, hmm, it's a what's hot. the word I can use? Toasty. Toasty. Warm. Tired of it. Hot. Tired of it, yes. <laughs> we'll use that whole no. sentence for sure. Yeah, I'm not about to break any news here. We've got a fairly hot, humid, typical July week with one exception. We've got a cold front and a good rain chance. Remember, toward the second half of the month, our average high is still... 91 degrees. We were 93 today. We're going to be there tomorrow. A little warmer Wednesday and then more of the same Thursday and Friday. So temperatures aren't going to do much. Humidity is going to be high. This front on Thursday, obviously not going to cool us down, but it will bring us our best rain chance of the week. And tonight, small chances of rain. Most of us are dry. The two areas we're watching, a couple thunderstorms trying to sneak in here to Moore County. So watch out around Pinehurst and Southern Pines and Aberdeen. Quick shower coming your way. And then there's a little bit trying to get going there in southeastern and eastern Wayne and Sampson County. Other than that, we are dry and obviously still hot. I mean, the cool spot is in Nightdale, where you guys have trended down to 87, but humidity is still very high, so I doubt it feels any cooler. 93 here in Raleigh and in Cary. It's 91 in Apex, 95 in Chapel Hill. Temperatures in the low to mid, uh, low 90s down in the Sand Hills as well, including 90 degrees in Fayetteville. So as we go hour by hour into tonight, getting that small chance of rain through about 7 and 8 o'clock, then we'll be dry the rest of the evening. Today obviously is not uh, a wet day at all. Our temperatures will hold in the 80s through about 9 or 10 o'clock and then fall through the 70s overnight, including 73 as you begin your Tuesday morning. So that's where we were this morning, so it's not going to feel any different tomorrow morning. So looking at the big picture, there's nothing really jumping out at us on the weather map. There is a pretty deep southerly flow. That's why it's going to be so hot and humid all week long. There's no cold front in view just yet. There's a little elongated area of low pressure. We call that a trough kind of on the other side of the mountains. That's there most of the summer. So other than that, nothing big going to jump out and get us until Thursday when that front arrives. So that is our next big weather maker. It is a weak cold front. I probably should be flagged for even calling it a cold front because it's not going to do anything to our temperatures. But what it will do is bring us our best chance of rain of the week. That's going to be late in the day Thursday, Thursday afternoon, Thursday night. Could be some thunderstorms right now, not a huge severe weather outbreak, but as much humidity as we have, I think we will have another chance of some heavy downpour, which we've gotten used to the last few weeks. And as I mentioned, Thursday's temperature is going to be just as hot as Friday's temperature. So that front that's not cold, um, it will not do anything other than bring us a good rain chance. So here's what this looks like on the extended forecast. Again, mid to low 90s Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Our best rain chance is right now at 50% on Thursday. Mudcats back at it with fireworks Friday night. And then we'll stay in the mid-90s with drier weather Saturday and Sunday. And your exclusive 10-day forecast, guys, keeps some small chances of rain around next week with temperatures remaining in the mid to low 90s.